Okay, I got you both. What's going on, Brad? Uh, I'm here with this big motherfucker. We got some muscle on the show today. I know. <laughs> Love it. I'm usually the biggest guy in the video. <laughs> totally fucking my style up right now. <laughs> uh, so we are here with Ian. Yeah. Ian is uh, pretty much ending your off season right now, right? Just finished. Start prep. Yeah. Start prep February third. We we'll start the season with uh, Puerto Rico May. Okay. Awesome. May twenty third. So like seventeen ish. Wow. Good. Good. So you won't be in the cow, so I don't have to worry about him at that show because it's the same weekend. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're here at the Mecca, and we're going to hit some back today. Ian's in for the weekend with his wife, Melissa, uh, for the LA Fit Expo, and uh, he's never been on the machine. Nope. So uh, I'm going to light him up and have him experience something new and different. Yeah. So Ian is a strong motherfucker, if you see him benching five plates, everything. So this would be nice to humble him a little bit <laughs> and uh, take him down a few notches. Yeah. So let me ask you, Ian, what are your expectations right now? Do you have any expectations at all? What, what? What are you thinking? I expect, obviously, like he said, to feel a lot weaker than I'm used to feeling, for sure. Uh, you know, you're obviously utilizing a lot less load and weight than I probably have utilized in a normal workout. Uh, and I'm expecting to be very sore tomorrow. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you after the workout to see if it actually matches what yeah. you said before. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. All right. Very cool. He's bumpy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O, how are you, my friend? Yes, sir. You good? Oh, yeah. Good to see you. Always. Clockwise, you'll just say when. I'll tell you when, and then when I'm done, turn it counterclockwise and turn it back in. 
go to like the next city. What did you do? Fucking, because like, I was trying to spot him. And like, I'm spotting him, yelling at him, videotaping, and trying to control this. Yeah. And I fucking went clockwise and shot him up to 100. He's like, ah! I'm <laughs> 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 bro. Is this, the, is this the Olympian's corner? Yeah. Right? Dex. Yes, yeah, Olympian. This is the winner's corner. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. No. Oh, yeah. Not on the level. Hey, you want to take a shot at us? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hold on. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> is, this the, is this the winner's What's corner? Up? What's up? What's the, up? The Olympian's corner here. I know, look at it. <laughs> yeah? We're all talking shit. Oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. You guys are too big. I have to cut your arm. How's the light behind us? Is the light fucking up? That's a lot of titles. Flex, good to see you, man, in the Mecca. Good to see you, guys. It's, it's been a few you. years. I think it's been like three or four. Really? Yeah. And Brandon, we never see Brandon. So good to see you, man. I wasn't here not too long ago. You just didn't see me. I know, but I didn't see you. So that doesn't count. If you come, I don't see you. That doesn't count. I guess, I guess not. 
Big Boy one out. Good to see you guys. Uh, oh, Ian is over there. What's his name? Ian. That's a big motherfucker. Yeah, That's man. Like, I'll go get him. I'll go get him. Hey. Ian. These guys want you in the picture. Mr. Olympia says, where's, where's the big dude? That's a big, that's a big MF okay. over there. You gotta go. <laughs> where, where are we going? Right there, go see Dexter and these guys. They want to take a picture with you. Oh, what's up, man? How are you? You're back? Hey guys, how are you? Good to see you, man. Very cool. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. All right. train this hard the first time doing it but he's a special kind of beast so <laughs> I know he can handle it that feels wonky in your abs man it's like <laughs> <laughs> your abs are really like, like two hours yeah it's like two hours of fucking pain like yeah so like, Ian was talking about how I was telling like when, you, when we do rows and you're gonna feel your abs light up like yeah. crazy you know, like I said the lat muscles kind of thin and there's all these other muscles connected, like your serratus and your obliques. And when you stretch forward like that, just everything just kind of curls into a knot. Yeah. And I was on a Monday morning, I trained back, and I had to fucking take a shit so bad. And one of my clients gave me like a dick, just trying to, it was, it was three guys training together, so we were like cranking each other up, cranking me up so high, I literally thought I was going to shit myself when I was work out. <laughs> well, like, that would not be good. Oh, no, I mean, he just cranked it on me, and I literally just felt like farted, farted, just yeah. right up. <laughs> Voluntary control bowel movements. I couldn't even control it. <laughs>
like 55. This is my favorite part of whenever, whenever we shoot Brad. Yeah. <laughs> I love having these guys at the beginning when they have no clue what's about to hit them and then afterwards. So, Ian, I asked you before the workout what were your expectations. So it's, what? Real, it's really hard to like expect that. You know? like, <laughs> it's, it's such a specific, like a, it's really hard to put into words. The feeling is so different than anything you've really ever encountered that you can't really describe it. I, don't, I Even now after doing it, I can't really describe it. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's so hard to, to really describe what it was, but I mean, I certainly didn't expect it to feel like that. I mean, I had an idea that it would be obviously a deeper contraction, that it would be, you know, I wouldn't be working the loads that I would normally be, but I mean, like the contraction it was causing, like, you know, so intense, you feel it in your abs and like even trying to stretch your lats, it's such a hard contraction, it's pulling you down, like just a, such an intense feeling. It was definitely, you know, nothing like I'd ever done before. Wow. Sure. That's awesome. Brad, what, what do you feel when you hear this stuff? You must love oh, this. Yeah, I lo like I said, like, I, I love getting athletes, guys, people that are truly in tune with their body that have been training as hard as they could for years and years and years. Like I said, Ian's a fucking monster. He moves crazy weight. Uh, he's, tried, he's tried every single different training style out there. So to get someone on the machine like that that's so knowledgeable about training and been through it all and to hear their responses is, is awesome. And, and, and this is even the best part. The best part is come Saturday Sunday. night, yeah. Sunday, when he feels like he's been beat down with a sledgehammer yeah. on his back. I mean, and that's now, the I just, I had to sit down by erectors until I was like, oh, I can't, can't stand up, right, I had to right. sit down. The, the, you know? the pump is so unreal. Like yeah. I said, we should have taken a before and after picture of his yeah. back and how pumped up it was. Yeah. But uh, on top of that, it was just a great workout. Like, yeah, I, was, I, I mean, I, I never get to train really that much anymore with, with top competitive athletes. And, yeah. So it was fun just to, to move weight and just be guys and then just try to push each other. Yeah, it, that's a good point. And a lot of times, some people get into bodybuilding and they find a formula that works right from the beginning and they stick with that their entire career. Jay right. comes to mind. Right. But some other people, such as Ian, such as uh, John Meadow, will try all kinds of different right. things because they're always hungry for new knowledge and right. new ways of training. Yeah. So when, if, when, when you have people like that or, 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 or open-minded and do something like this and they tell you, man, I've never felt like that, right. I can't even think right. about that. So it, that's kind of great. Right. E even me, like, you know, like, I, I've tried everything in the world. I mean, I've, I've worked with Chris Corbier for right. years. I worked with Charles Glass for years. You know, working with Matt Jensen and doing more of like the, like you said, low volume, heavy weight type work or like the Dante Trudel Del stuff. Yeah. And then more high volume, fast pace. And now this, it's, it's, it's different. It changes the, the pace that you can train at. It changes how, you know, you can't just grip it and rip it with no, this and uh, something. So, uh, you know, it's, it's changed me a lot and, and it's going to preserve my body even better. Because my, my favorite way to train is just a fucking throw around heavy ass weight. Yeah. It's not the, not the most productive Longevity. way. Well, well, it's just the most productive way. Yeah. You're using so many accessory muscles. Of course, yeah. But that's what I love and that's what I'm passionate about training with. And this kind of takes me down and forces me to contract and forces me to focus and train better. Yeah, I like it. That's yeah. awesome. Ian, thank you so much for yeah. coming all this way yeah. and be on the show uh, with, with us. Oh, thanks and, for um, us. Not that, like I was telling your wife, though, the downside is that you're going back to Canada with there's no machine. <laughs> so no that's, machine and cold. Yeah. So that sucks. <laughs> we wouldn't be sitting outside doing this, that's for sure. We'd be inside in sweat. In our snowsuits. Yeah, in our snowsuits. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, man. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, have you.